but so this video I just put this video in your background or something this is nothing so let's stop today I could treat this video like a podcast or something so if you want to well uh, want to see how many of people would enjoy this kind of video where I just stop in my phone By using Minecraft, so that's something you will never hear ever again. It's okay, you are not supposed to hear that. Never was supposed to. So I approximated by and Minecraft using in my redstone world using command box because um why not? I can just go ahead and do a little circle and just divide it into a quarter and calculate by using it yeah it was a bad idea but I still tried it and it kind of worked out kind of not a lot very well but it did work out so we can say it was a good idea but not really that great on YouTube where someone proves like pi is equals to 4 instead of 3.1415 something like that and they were really used to me exactly before pi like anything else in 3.14 is not really used by me or 22 divided by 7 is the value I always use I don't know why that's simpler because 22 upon 7 equals to 73.14 and then so on but it's a rational number of course it is not irrational it, I, I, I mean I, I cannot explain what rational is rational numbers are the ones that repeat itself to infinity and so does this number but this number is repeating does that make it rational or irrational I don't know I think it would be irrational because you know Rational numbers can be de- defined by a ratio of two numbers, which they can be. So maybe this is a rational number, but like the value of pi that I used was a rational value, but it is actually a rational number. Pi is not a rational number. You clearly say that because it cannot be represented as a ratio of two numbers. It's literally its own. It's pi. No circles in Minecraft, of course. I made a whole circle in Minecraft just to command block. I mean two command blocks but it's okay I accidentally removed the armor then that was a mistake I made let's go to the center and just make my way to the place where I'm supposed to summon the armor stead uh, here we go place the armor stand down there we have it and yeah it is supposed to be here 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 hey there 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 there, there we go and now we have successfully summoned the armor stand in position we can just name him X and then just go ahead and place remove this one because it's useless now replace this one I don't know why I just stopped from being a podcast to this thing now but yeah well have you ever like tried making things in my job that would not work actually that quickly I'm trying to make something very similar Listen. I saw this video on YouTube where someone made a port of Minecraft in a calculator for TI-84 plus. And yes, I know they only need 256 kilobyte worth of memory also. And I want to do something very similar. I want to make Minecraft in Minecraft with command blocks. That's a great idea, but I really don't have the brain just to make it work. Do I? <laughs> That's what is stopping me from making it so. I was pretty much thinking that I wish if I studied these things like how you I can make command block stuff like add-ons and all you know mods and add-ons 
Will I be able to make it properly? A serious question. That is what is making this a lot more complex than it should be, you know? But there we have a quadrant of quarter. Quadrant, quarter, something like How do I do this? Now we are just going to calculate. It's an easy written by counting. We are not counting these in the roadside parts because um they are worthless for us for now. They're redundant data, okay? If we count them we will count eight of them instead of the actual amount of four. I mean eight. One, two, three, four, five, eight of them. Instead of the actual amount of four, so we will have some redundancy on our data. Which will make it a bit sad for us, so I don't want it to happen, so I'm just going to let it be like this. Also, I made a small circle because my phone would have died if I made a bigger circle. That is why I'm making a small circle. Okay, okay, there we have our calculations. We got the area of quarter, like you can see, quadrant of quarter, whatever you want to call it. And then we have like this little part, which we did not count. But this part which is counted, this lines which you can see are highlighted, the straight lines are not counted, we are, that are added later on which are 64. Because the lines are 16 block long, so 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 is 64. Yeah, I know it is a bit of redundancy of 3 blocks, I know. I should have added 61, I know. But it's done already, okay? Now the area of circle is like this, by R square thing, so when you get the square of Radius and so the area is this and the square of radius is this then we just go ahead and divide those two things together approximation of pi which is very simple if you ask me it's very simple okay? very very simple well if you unless you are very bad at maths because this is a very basic division okay and with that being done we can actually go ahead and write that down to be this and with that, we can actually say this is the actual value of pi and not the one you think it is, okay? See you later tomorrow. Bye-bye.